Man, it sucks that Kay and the end show wasn't uploaded when it was supposed to. Yeah, freaking sucked. Why did that even happen? cross-country teams both made it to state Let's this go, year. On, on route to doing so, go. both teams also won league in the same year for the first time ever in the history of North. As a team, girls got third in state and boys got fifth. Belisti Akalu also won state by defeating last year's state Let's champion. Go, Let's go. I'm, feeling right I'm feeling pretty good. I thought it went well. <clears throat> it was hard. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy with it. I'm really proud of my team. Oh, it's pretty good. Um, it was a little tough on the hills, but it went overall awesome. Um, a lot of giggles and um, some hard workouts. <laughs> we trained really hard in the week, uh, like this week leading up to state. We took it easy, you know, tapered. So, first of all, what place do you get? I got first place. <laughs> uh, I thought it, uh, it is. A huge trophy. You know what we're here for? We're here to win. Oh, we're gonna be on the podium. North on three. One, two, three. North! You know, I've got so many things to be thankful for, but the one thing that I really am thankful for the most is my family, that we're all safe and in good health. Besides um, all of the, the wonderful people here at North, um, a healthy family, is always kind of at the top of my list every year. Uh, I'm thankful for my parents. I grew up in a good home. I'm thankful for that. I know not everyone's as lucky. Um... <laughs> All right, uh, what else am I thankful for? Oh yeah, I'm thankful for ranch dressing. Uh, it's a coping mechanism whenever things are going awry. You can just put that on food. Please don't put that in, that sounds weird. I am thankful for my friends and theater and caffeine. I am thankful for all of my friends and family uh, over the years, the people that have uh, really had an impact on me. I'm also thankful for kazoos. My friends, my family, just everything. Um, Primarily my family's health. My dad's been really ill the last year and he just uh, went home from the hospital about two days ago. I'm thankful for my friends, my family, my dad. Uh, I'm thankful for my family's health and I'm also thankful for my career. I really enjoy my job right now and I'm very fortunate to have this position at this point in my career. Jeez, that's a hard one. Uh, depends. Turkey when it's not dry and if the ham, it's got to be baked in honey, you know. Ham all the way. It's turkey all the way, man. Oh, definitely turkey. Can I put both? Uh, ham with uh, with with uh, cherries and uh, turkey with cranberry sauce. Ham all the way. Uh, I prefer turkey in most cases, unless it's dry. Uh, you have to make it the right way, but yeah, for the most part, turkey. Potatoes. Definitely turkey. Turkey. Definitely. Turkey. Turkey. Um, we always go over to my grandparents' house and our whole extended family on my dad's side. We go uh, eat dinner there. And then the past couple years we've seen a movie afterwards because people don't go to the movies on Thanksgiving usually. So it's pretty open seating, I guess. We all go to my stepmom's parents' house and so it's just like 
my close family and then we eat a bunch of food and nap and then we go home. Uh, we're very traditional in that all the family comes over once when my parents were still living was always at my parents house and then one of my brothers took it on and now uh, as we've all grown older and have our own families um, we quite don't have the total family gathering we have parts of the family but we still get together every Thanksgiving. Gosh um, besides holidays no not really. I uh, go over to my uncle's and we we get fat together <laughs> and we play basketball <coughs> and just have a blast. Um, we go to my papa's house and we hang out, you know, talk. Lately we've uh, been going to the plaza for Thanksgiving, me and my friends, but we found out that that's actually not fun at all, so we're going to stop doing that. We have a, uh, like a billiards tournament and a, the ping pong tournament gets pretty intense. Um, we typically will go to uh, out of town to either my father's and uh, eat lots of food and, and take lots of naps. So that's probably the biggest tradition. My family usually draws names for a gift exchange for Christmas. Oh, okay. And then usually if we don't go to the movies, we go down to the plaza for the lighting ceremony. Oh. Man, that guy's really good at card games. Yeah, she's pretty good. Hey, did you just call him a she? No. Well, yeah, what's wrong with that? Well, I know that she really wants to be called a he. Like, how would you feel if someone called you by your wrong pronoun? I guess I'd feel weird and awkward, but how am I supposed to know what to call people? Well, when you ask them politely, if they want to be called he, she, they, then call them that. All right, I can respect that. No, but seriously, when's the last time you went out and had fun? I can tell just by looking at you, it's been fun. Well, I have the perfect solution. First Fridays. Every first Friday of each month, bands, rappers, poets, artists, and performers are at every street corner in the Crossroad District. If you're not familiar with that location, look up on your phone, Art of Pizza, and look at the location in Kansas City, Missouri. Oh, and it starts at 6 and ends at around 10. Have fun, and remember, when was the last time you did something with your life? My name is Ted Josenberger. I'm Justin Price. My name is Eli Pleach. Pleach, yeah, that's right. It's Pleach now. It's Eli Peach. My name is Gabby Oakman. Uh, my name is David. I play the flute. I play the clarinet. I play a uh, less known instrument known as the euphonium. I play the tenor saxophone. And I play the trumpet. The closeness of everybody, like we're just a huge community inside of a bigger community and we're all just like family. Every year, it's the same for me, it's the people. I love the people that we get to do marching band with. They're great, it's just like family. The band's one giant click in itself. And then there's sub clicks, and then there's sub sub clicks, and then there's sub 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 clicks. I really love the, um, like the sense of family that everyone has. Just like hanging around everybody, um, seeing everybody improve, uh, 
the fun, everybody, like just hanging out, just everybody, the enjoyment, it's fun. Really during the football games and how when we're marching the show, it's like everybody's like so pumped for it in the stands and yeah. It was Bonner Springs because we always get first and we got first again this year and the weather was actually nice and it wasn't like 100 degrees. I really enjoyed this year's marching show. It was called Predator and Prey, and it had different songs from like, it had the Hunger Games theme, um, Terminator. I'd say Senior Night, and getting to march that one last time with the seniors. I like band camp. It's where everybody's, so we have some new freshmen, we had new, uh, we had eight this year. Um, we, you make new friends, um, we hang a lot all day, all day long, so that, that was fun. Oh yeah, I think, I'm expecting so much improvement, just I'm, I'm ready for us to be like super good. And I'm super super excited because the possibility of being a section leader and being a senior, so yeah. This year's show was a lot of fun, but I want an even more show than next year because I feel like that'd be pretty cool. I'm excited to see how much the band can grow because we've grown more every year, like for the past couple years, and I'm excited to see how much we can grow from that. I'm, I'm ready for some people to step up, so I'm ready for that. This is a really, really productive tech night. Yeah, yeah. Tonight for uh, Henry's Law. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's finally, fi we finally got around to doing one. It's been a while. Yeah, it's been a little bit. Uh, have they started anything on Adam's family yet? Uh, no. Uh, maybe? Maybe. I don't know. I was kind of just in the little theater the whole time. Oh, well. Oh, God, look at the time. Yeah, alright. That's a let me go. Yep, you want to ride home? Yeah, sure. Um. Here, come on, freshman. Let's, let's uh, let the man hit him. Maybe it's a, a store. Uh, let me, let me see if I can call some Oh, yay, very, very horror movie. Yeah? What? That's, uh, my phone's dead. Oh, uh, why don't you uh, check yours? Okay. Five bucks this time. Uh, yeah, um, well, at least it's not dark. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they, they generally keep the power on top. Uh, <sighs> Eric, are you still awake? Yep. Do you believe in ghosts? No. What? It could be worse. No, it couldn't. Uh, well. Uh, well, at least there's school tomorrow, right? No. Is it a long weekend? Yeah. It's a teacher work day, though, right? No? Mm. Okay. <laughs> what? What are you guys doing? Well, Nothing. What are you doing here? It's three in the morning. What? Go home. What? Uh, we were locked. Uh, um, okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. Why are you here? Why are you here? I live here. Oh. Oh. Oh yeah. Oh. Yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Well, Connie has been retired this last year from uh, Shawnee Mission North, where I really think that she was very much part of the family. Uh, I mean, she was invested. I, I wouldn't say that there's probably a student that's gone through that didn't know, um, that didn't go through her line and, and that she didn't make an impact with. Oh, Connie is an amazing woman. Um, all the students here love her. I've had quite a few students ask where she is that have missed her. Um, she was wonderful to everybody, always had a smile on her face, um, always was happy and positive about everything here at North, went to all the events that she could go to here at North. She was just an amazing person, and personally, I love and miss her very, very much. There's people that every day that they went to the lunchroom, they knew they were going to see her. And, and I think that was, that's comforting for a lot of our students, uh, and, it, and it certainly is, it's a she, she has a warm place and I think everyone's heart. Everything positive that can be contributed, she went to the events, um, especially the plays. She loved the plays and the musicals um, and always brought in the programs and made sure all of us lunch ladies knew about the events. 
I would like to say, Connie, we miss you a lot. I wish you can come back, but I know this time that you need to be in retirement and be with your husband, and I'm very happy that you always come and visit us. Well, I'd just love to give her a big hug and say we're glad that she's retired and able to enjoy being outside on gorgeous days like today reading a book, drinking a glass of tea with, with her husband. That would be amazing and that we'd miss her. Just to thank her for her years of service, for her uh, unconditional love of all of the students and staff and, and just what she was able to do by, by lifting the spirits and, and doing her part to make North a great place. The interaction that we have with people uh, throughout the day, some of them are brief, uh, but even those, I think, can make a huge difference, and I think she kind of exemplifies that. Well, Connie, I know you, you were with us for a lot of years, and we got you the, the gold card right yes, away. Sir. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. But we've got a, another a gold card for your, your husband. Oh, thank you. So thank if you'd like to present. Time. Well, Connie, we have one more surprise for you. The uh, North has turned the tables on you. <laughs> <laughs> and instead of you serving the students, mm -hmm. here's a gift certificate for the bistro. They're going to serve you. Oh my goodness. Thank you, sir. Oh my <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Winsicker. Thank you so much. Oh, this is so nice. Down Santa Claus Lane. He's got toys for girls and boys. You're joking me, right? You know it's not even Thanksgiving. That's not till Thursday. It's never too early for a little Christmas spirit. So you're really willing to give up things like pumpkin pie early just for peppermint? I think Christmas is a pretty cool holiday and you can celebrate it as early as you want. Yeah, I mean, I guess, I guess Thanksgiving's alright too. Uh, I do love a good belly filling. Everyone's thankful for a good belly filling, am I right? Ho ho! Ho oh, ho ho! Ho oh. ho! ho, ho. <laughs> hey, there you go. i 
Thank you.